camera. Okay. Oh, done. So after after securing everything, you just need to put the back plate on. It goes just around top, and obviously, just need to tighten up the screw that we have uh, unloosened just now. Should secure the device tightly. Let's go through the main wires of uh, this part. So as explained before, I have labeled this as the main uh, wires that goes to the device, which obviously you need to ensure that the live wire is not used at all because you are just using the 12 DC volt. So we can simply either secure and take it off or put into an empty slot which is what I'm going to do. The gray of that main wire, which we have identified, goes to the gray of the NAS device heat linked. And the black of this particular that I've labeled as NAS goes to the green, which obviously connects the device wirelessly, uh, which I've shown you as well. For most cases, you will need, you will not need to touch this live wire piece because the existing setting should be correct. The next part, what you need to do is to ensure that you change the wiring component, which fires the rear valve and obviously the front valve as well. So I'll show you this very quickly. So for the third live wire, we will not use the gray part but we will only use the common wire which connects to either the maroon or you know the pink wires which connects to the opening and the closing of the two valves cables which goes to the front valve and the back valve. And for the live brown wire, we're not going to use that as well because that will not need to be powered. So we can either secure that off or I'm just going to put into an empty slot again. And then finally, what you need to do is just use that you know, existing opening and just secure the wires tightly. And then finally, you just need to close off and lock the main device. 